much for her. Ladies and gentlemen, the day is here. We did it. Congratulations, Melbourne. Zero new cases, we have zero active cases, and we have zero deaths. We have officially hit zeros across the board. Nothing but a couple of goose eggs. We have achieved greatness. No one can argue with us on that one. I'm so proud of us and how far we've come. And there is no better way to celebrate quadruple zeros than having a bev with your mates. I love nothing more. A frosty cold drink on a hot day. Do you get those like condensation rings of water on everything? They're annoying. They don't look good. And your mum always yells at you to clean up the mess and put a coaster down, but you never do because you can never find one that matches the aesthetic that you need. Well, today I'm here to solve that problem. I'm making my own coasters. Got some cardboard. Basically, I'm just gonna cut out some circles, pop on a little bit of a, I guess an emblem, a fun print. I would call it a, a coat of arms for the coronavirus, like a little slogan on top to make them a bit more fun and festive. Uh, sound off in the comments if you have an idea of maybe what it could potentially be. Pour some resin over them to seal in the deal and seal in the greatness so that they can be used all summer long. And considering that we are pretty much COVID free, I feel like these coasters are going to get a full on run from their money this season. So I try. I try hard. Uh, I haven't always got the, the smartest way to do things. But um, I, always, I always get something sorted. And so basically on my bit of cardboard, I thought most drinks are about this size. I'm using a Sprite can, but obviously if it was up to me, it would be something with a bit more alcohol content. <laughs> we are just gonna whip out, you know, it's not super scientific, but my thought process is something that goes in the middle and then just do one of these. So that looks like almost your perfect size for a coaster. See that? Science. Draw. Look at this. Who says you don't use high school maths? I don't think I've ever used geometry, uh, trigonometry, or Pythagoras theorem, or pi, but the good old, what do you even call these? Compass, compass, compass. Protractors? Protractors. You have to Google that, hang on. Yeah, I was right. It's a compass. Yeah, boy. Oh, gee. At least I've got something from my high school in Korea. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and just cut those uh, spheres out. Also, six is like a good amount of coasters. I might just make a set of eight. Oi, that's not bad. My graphic design skills are limited to clip art. Uh, on Microsoft. Two down. This is fun. It's only fun because for once I'm actually like doing something that's not turned into shit so quickly. I've actually decided to go for the nice round figure of 10. Just because I think you're probably more likely to have 10 friends than like six over with the new restrictions easing. You're allowed to have like, oh Jesus like 15 friends over, the probability of 10 of them out of the 15 drinking a drink that's cold is high. And then, you know, like the other five will probably have like a, you know, a wine or a red wine or something, which, you know, won't, won't create more, more condensation. But for the rest of your mates, you've got um, 10 perfectly beautiful coasters. So we're back out on the grass. We mean business. So now for the fun part. We are resining, resining, resining. We're putting resin on everything. They say, whoa. Oh no, that's on everything. Oh, one part of this. I'm gonna assume that's like the resin bit of it. 
I should, should have probably measured this, eh? Alright, so we mix for two minutes, it said. Do we all think that it's gonna go back to normal? Now that Melbourne's completely double zeros, will we be doing what I suggested in our guided meditation? Have I potentially manifested that for us all? Weirder things have happened in this world. It says start in the middle. Ah! I don't know if I'm supposed to like push it out a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my God, the sun's so hot. I don't think you're gonna get the full effect of just how fantastic these are. Get on the bus, meet the Veronica Vaughn. I think the issue lies in their ability to sit straight or in this case their inability to sit straight I need to wash my hands the last step to this is you add a bit of heat burn out those little bubbles you dog uh, I let the resin set for 24 hours like the instructions in, instructed me. And I went and touched them, they were all dry, fantastic, no problems. I just piled them onto one plate. Um, there were a few casualties. I'm not going to say this went perfectly because I know it didn't. There were a few things went wrong. First of all, they all got stuck to the plate and that was probably... I'm gonna say that was a user error. I'm gonna say that was me. Oh Jesus, they're so shiny. Probably shouldn't have poured as much on them. Look, there was a few errors. If I'm gonna get, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys. First, my first issue that I encountered, even though they were fantastic, I'm not gonna show you what they were. The bits of white paper, because I've still gotta, I've still gotta do a bit of tweaking. The bits of white paper kind of went see-through and the wording that I'd written on it kind of blurred out because it was just like a black outline. Um, so you can't really see what it says. Also, I didn't stick it down enough, evidently. Uh, so they've kind of lifted a little bit, but they're like completely hard. So, I mean, the resin itself worked. There's also, uh, I don't want to show, I don't want to show you too much because they're not finished. But there's also like bug wings, like fly wings. So, Apologies to the fly. You, well, you're not a fly anymore, you're a walk. <laughs> it's so bad. So basically, let them sit for 24 hours, tried to take them off the plate, ended up ripping half the plate off with them. Then I just whacked them all on one good plate. Turns out that they all kind of stuck together as well. <laughs> At the moment, removing those bits of resin because you know what I oh my god this is so hard I'm gonna salvage I'm gonna salvage this masterpiece it's too good not to I feel like they have so much potential and I'm not letting minor details like you know not being able to see what it says or five of them getting sucked together stop me I just will oh there we go one came out I put my ambitions in front of my capabilities yet again do a bit of fine tuning on this lettering now for the big reveal custom get on the beers coasters handmade by alex Ange. That's, but fantastic what do we all think get on the beers coasters limited edition um buy them thank you dan andrews it's been absolutely fun and adventurous one hell of a ride we all deserve to get on the beers so do that because this summer is going to be one that we're not going to forget. <laughs> you know what I think? What do you think, Shannon? Tell us. We should get on the beers. Even though these are sizes. 